What? Let's go! This cutscene's insane! Let's see. I'm afraid that I have another task that requires your assistance. The Adventurer's Guild has recently received a commission directly from the Tenryo Commission. The assignment is both urgent and dangerous. Urgent and dangerous? My middle's names. I have two middle names. After assessing the assignment, the Guild has concluded that seasoned adventurers are required. Naturally, you came to mind. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Just Dangerous, you say? Allow me to explain. The Tenryo Commission recently issued an arrest warrant for a young Oni by the name of Arataki Ito. He's got an, a warrant for his arrest, dude? Okay. He's a dangerous boy. An Oni? You mean those big, tough looking guys with horns on their heads? That's correct. Mm -hmm. This particular Oni is quite vocal and audacious, so he already has quite the reputation on the streets. That said, he has never been caught up in major trouble of any kind. It's funny that they're saying that, like, he has a, a warrant for his arrest and all of this, but, like, he's such, such a sweetheart. But we already know that because we have seen him. It makes sense before you do the quest. So it came as a surprise to learn that he has recently been accused of stealing things and sometimes even whisking away the people themselves. But it doesn't end there. When the Tenryo Commission dispatched a Doshin to apprehend him, he assaulted the Doshin before making a getaway with his accomplices. Sounds like a real ruffian. Hello. So I blame on guess. It's up to us to bring the Sony in. Yes. I don't want to fight him, though. He's going to kick my butt or charm me to death, honestly. No problemo. This does sound like a job for the traveler. He'll be back with that Oni in no time. Let's go. confidence you will succeed. However, please exercise caution. This Oni also happens to hold a vision and is the leader of an organization known as the Arataki Gang. I love that they're like speaking about him like he's he's dangerous and he he's a leader of a gang. And then you're going to meet him. He's like, that's Ryuji, like from Persona 5. He's lovable. Hmm, you're right. We have no idea what we'll be up against. Better play it safe. All right, we are let's still go see. investigating Arataki Ito's potential motives behind these incidents, as well as his current whereabouts. But okay. please ask around in the streets as well. There will likely be others more familiar with Ito's circumstances than I am, who can right. provide you with useful information. Let's do a chat. Let's go ask Thank around. You. I will await your return. Ad Astra Adisask. Okay, chat. Can can someone tell me real quick? What does Ad Astra Abyssosk mean? I have like 500 hours in this game. I always make fun of that line. I'm always like, oh yeah, Ad Astra Applesauce. What does it mean? All right, rise up, Golden Soul. Let's do it. Well, let's start asking around on the streets. Hopefully we'll learn a little more It's their motto, but what does it mean though? Figure out where he might have run off to. All right, Faria Nabura. Let's go ask around. So, yeah, I've heard of the guy. Word is he did something monumentally stupid, then ran off before they could catch him. Sounds like him, yeah. And to be completely honest, I was a little surprised when I first heard it. Okay, well, I mean, not that surprised. Wait, you mean he already had a bad reputation? He's a bad guy, kind of. No, not exactly. <coughs> He's just very overbearing in everything he does big and brash and always making a ruckus well you know honestly ito is a a theater kid because we saw that in the trailer genshin just roasted all theater kids by the way <laughs> so on the one hand he's a larger than life kind of guy but on the other hand he's emotionally volatile when he's in a good mood he's as high as a kite but when he gets upset he gets completely enraged so he's like a zero a hundred type guy. Okay. I don't personally see him as a bad guy, but I guess I wouldn't put it past him to get all riled up and lose control. What's he usually up to? Hmm. You know, I'm afraid that I'm not too sure myself. <coughs> Why does he keep coughing? I keep a pretty good eye on what's happening in the city. And as far as I can tell, he just idles the days away. Why does he keep coughing? There has to be a reason why he keeps coughing. 
When someone asks for it, he's willing to lend a helping hand, but other than that, he's just out making a scene with the kids on the street or his gang. Okay. <sighs> if I had to guess, his lack of income finally drove him to do something more drastic to make ends meet. So he's a theater kid. He wants to make it as an actor, as a performer. He can't make ends meet, and so now he's in a gang. I can make so many theater jokes. I'm afraid that I don't have much else to tell you. He tends to spend his time with people a little more lively than myself. Okay. Perhaps you could try asking around some more. Okay, thanks. Dude, I can't wait till we... Ugh, I want to meet him so bad in this quest already. Please. Let's go find Ido. Get news of Arataki Ido. Bet. Let's go do it. During being a theater kid, it clicks uh, some things into place for me. Yes, I was a theater kid for eight years. All right, who else do I have to talk to? This person... Agura Mio, tell me about Ito. Arataki Ito? Hmm, oh yeah. I heard about that whole thing. I'm sure it must have been a mix up on the Tenryo Commission's end. He could never do anything <laughs> so dastardly. Okay. Huh? How can you be so sure? Is he really as trustworthy as all that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, perhaps you misunderstand me. When I said he could never do anything dastardly, I meant he literally doesn't have what it takes. This girl's calling Ito weak. Do you mean he's not smart enough or do you mean he's not strong enough? I'm gonna say strong enough. Mm, maybe a story will explain it better. So he used to spend a lot of time playing rock, paper, scissors and hide and seek with the kids on the streets. Okay. Kids being kids aren't exactly the most difficult to outsmart. I'm sure you can see what I'm getting at here. He used to lose all the time. No way. Sometimes catastrophically. <laughs> so you're saying that he would lose to adults, so then he starts swindling kids to feel smart and to actually feel like, oh, I'm winning, I'm good at something? <laughs> That's actually so funny, bro. I would do that. On purpose, though, right? No, not at all. The one time I saw him win, he started jumping around and yelling, I won! I finally won! I'm unbeatable! <laughs> Traveler's so face, dude, and pine ones. <laughs> oh my god, dude. So he just okay. So he doesn't win against adults. So he tries to like win against like kids, so that he okay. That makes sense. That's weird. okay. Then he took the kids' candy as his prize. And no, what? Right what? In front of him, dude. He's a savage. The kid, dude. Ito is such a savage. I love it. God, Ito is a menace. Ugh, that's just plain wrong. He did take it I way love it, too though. far that time. The poor kid started crying, so I stepped in and gave Ito a scolding. I feel like he's just a kid at heart, is what he it is. He was pretty quick to admit that he was fully in the wrong, and it wasn't long before the kid had stopped crying and was laughing and playing again as if nothing had ever happened. Okay. In fact, the children quite like playing with him because he's always serious about the stakes and never throws a game on purpose. Mm, so, okay. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, is a guy who can't even beat kids at a children's game really going to be capable of these kinds of diabolical deeds? Bro, she's out here just saying, I'm going to just put it in simplest terms for you. Ito is not the smartest. He's kind of stupid. Do you think he could do all of this by himself? I don't think so, chap. I don't think so. Huh. He doesn't sound like a bad guy at all. In fact, he kind of sounds like a man of integrity. Yeah, honestly. Yes, my thoughts exactly. Still, the Tenryo Commission's evidence against him is supposed to be irrefutable. He might be getting framed, though. So, I'm not trying to condone his actions or anything. If he really has messed up big time, then he should face the consequences just like anyone else. True. Thanks for the info. We'll keep asking around. All right, he might be trying to get maybe someone's trying to frame him like another gang or something, you know, because like it to me, it sounds like Ito is not capable of being evil in a sense, right? All right, let's talk to Usugi. Arataki Ito. <laughs> of course I know him. We've been trying to apprehend him recently. Hmm. We know he's already left Inazuma City, but with no clues to follow, we have no choice but to commission others for help, including the Adventurers Guild. So, oh, okay. <laughs> Ito hasn't done anything seriously bad before, so it seems pretty strange. Paimon gets it? Okay. Paimon's curious. Is there any evidence 
evidence of all this stuff he's accused of? Yes, of course. Otherwise, we'd never have put so many people on the case. Imagine if you said, no, we don't have any evidence at all. I'd be like, hello? For starters, most thieves will try to devise a way to conceal their identity. But for an Oni, the horns are a dead giveaway. I mean, yeah, that'll I mean, do it. The whole city could have recognized it was him. How did you know it wasn't a different Oni? At first, he was just one of our suspects. But when we went to investigate, he personally confessed to everything and started trying to provoke the officers. No, you know what? I'm, I can already see it. Ido is a man of integrity. He's trying to cover for someone, probably. Maybe a friend? What's most frustrating is that he then managed to escape along with his entire gang. He must have been planning the whole thing right from the start. Mm-hmm. Did he have a motive, though? Of course he did. Whether material or psychological, there is plenty of evidence either way. Hmm. He's never had a mora to his name his entire life, and he's never kept down a real job. Word is that he also takes care of someone in his gang, and that the burden of it takes quite the toll on him. Ito's a sweetheart! He... Justice for Ito. He is clean he's clean after scrounging for a living all these years maybe he thought that being the bad guy would be an easier ride this doesn't add up chap as for his psychological motives it's a bit embarrassing to talk about but we <clears throat> confiscated his vision during the vision hunt decree so they took his vision away interesting so he was exacting revenge on the tenryo commission at the time arataki ito put up quite a fight it took a huge amount of manpower and resources and in the end we had to enlist the help of kujo sara to finally secure his vision that's what happens in the trailer got you that makes the sense vision now. hunt was a mistake but we never expected that he would go to such extreme lengths to take revenge on us <laughs> he does sound a little unstable People have been saying the motives seem valid enough if the two of you are able to capture arataki ito please bring him straight here we'll handle him from there there's always two sides to the story though chap thanks for all the info we'll have to see what ito says now hmm. too bad we still don't know where he could have run off that's sango for more information bet word on the street so maybe it's time to talk to a real specialist let's go talk to sango Let's go see. I'm so excited to see your reaction to the storyline. I'm very excited so far. I'm very excited to see like what happens because I don't know. There's some, like some things aren't just adding up, and I don't think Ido is the bad guy. Please speak to President Sango. I'm just to help. Hello. We'd like to ask some questions about Arataki Ito. Oh, him again. She's already had sure. enough. I have answers. We've already done some investigating for the Tenryo Commission. But first, do you have enough Mora to cover the fee? How dare she after I helped you with your job in the dog event and not... I've heard all about your travels. Wow. After everything you've been through, I'm sure you understand the way these sorts of things work. Uh, how much more are we talking about here? I mean, I'm rich, but I'm not rich, rich, you know what I'm a saying? A one-off payment of 397,000 Mora up front. Plus a further 5% of your Adventures Guild remuneration as my commission. If Arataki Ito is successfully caught and brought to justice. Hello? No! Whoa! That's crazy expensive! How did you even come up with the price that high? Dude, she can't pay her taxes, that's why. <laughs> Hold on. I wasn't finished. It just so happens the initial fee has already been paid in full by the Tenryo Commission. Oh, okay. All you'll need to pay is the small commission fee. And... Oh. As for that amount, Never mind. I'll settle things with the Adventures Guild once we have Ito. So, from the way I see it, you guys are getting a pretty nice deal. Okay, she had me in the first half. Now then, to give you the full picture in this case, we must first recount a well-known Inazuman fairy tale. Cutscene? A long, long time ago, in a village lost to time, there lived a Crimson Oni and a Blue Oni. They were the best of friends. The Crimson Oni looked fierce, but was gentle like the humans. So cute. The Blue Oni looked human, but was reclusive, like an Oni. The Crimson Oni wished to befriend the humans, but they were scared. 
and threw beans at him whenever he came near. Oh, he got bullied. So the blue Oni said to the crimson Oni, Aka, I'll cause trouble in the village. You'll come and stop me. Then the humans will accept you. As planned, the crimson Oni chased the blue Oni away. The crimson Oni's deeds spread throughout the land, and people finally accepted him. But what about the other one? But when the crimson Oni went to tell the blue Oni the good news, he was gone and left only a letter behind. I went traveling. Don't come find me or they'll treat you as a naughty little Oni. But don't worry about me. No matter where I go, we'll always be friends. Oh, come on. Sacrifice his whole entire life. That cannot be it. That cannot be it. That is so sad. Okay. okay. I suppose the blue Oni simply disappeared, never to be seen again. Only the crimson Oni remain now. Interesting. Oh, but what? The blue Oni was just an innocent little kid. Does this story have anything to do with the situation at hand? Of course <laughs> Traveler's it does. just like, I don't care. Otherwise, I wouldn't go through all the trouble of telling it. One interpretation is that the story is actually broadly based on historical events and that Arataki Ito is, in fact, a descendant of the Crimson Oni. Oh, okay. What I'm trying to tell you is that the Oni have sacrificed a lot in the past in order to finally integrate themselves into human society. But there are still some volatile personality traits in the Oni bloodline. Because Oni are like demons, right? In Japanese folklore? Oni is an actual demon and so but like when you look at Ido he doesn't really look like a demon so oh so they've they've sacrificed a lot in the past in order to finally integrate themselves into human society but there's still some parts of them in their personality from the Oni blood oh my god okay every generation of Oni inherits these traits so while Arataki Ito has never been known to commit a wrongful act in the past can we ever completely rule out the possibility of him one day allowing this side of him to take over? Int yeah, that's true. But how could he do that? After the blue Oni's sacrifice? That would be such a betrayal. But it's like those animal instincts, right? Like those demonic little pieces inside of him still. That's a very old story. Nobody knows how long it's been since the blue Oni disappeared. We can only assume that they have long since died out, mm -hmm. in which case it would be quite a stretch to say it still counts as a betrayal at this point. Interesting. I wonder if we'll get to meet the Blue Oni or a descendant of the Blue Oni in this quest. Besides, the suspect has already confessed. What is there left to discuss? He's covering for somebody. Wait, me. It's all coming together. It is literally all coming together. This is my theory, my hypoth hypothesis, okay? Like the story, how the blue Oni for the red Oni sacrifice themselves to make the red Oni more likable. Maybe Ito now is returning that favor in a sense, right? To a unknown blue Oni. Maybe. We'll see. According to my investigation, he was headed southwest. I would bet he's already made it to Yashiori Island by now. Let's catch up to him, The though. Tenryo Commission is unable to enter territory controlled by Songonomiya troops. Huh. No doubt that's the reason Arataki Ito chose to flee in that direction. Thanks for all the information. Don't mention it. I'm just doing my duty. Bet. Wait! Paimon still has a question. If Arataki Ito has given in to his bad side, won't that mean he's extra mean and violent now? I could only assume so. Judging what do we have to fight Ito? Oh, I don't want to fight him. He's a skilled fighter with a lot of brute strength. Yeah. Whether or not you'll be able to handle him, that I do not know. I don't know. My C1 Eula might not be able to go up against the C6 Ito. It's kind of crazy. Okay, but what's up with people throwing beans at Oni? What use is that? Beans. Ah, yes. Now that you mention it, I seem to recall that Arataki Ito is allergic to beans. Okay. That's his only one weakness Oni then. Will avoid beans, but especially Ito. 
I heard that just touching a bean is enough to incapacitate him. Bro, so just throw beans at him and he's done. If you could weaken him a bit by bean vision when? Perhaps you'd have better luck subduing him. It seems like our only option at this point. Right. Knowing our target's weakness will make things a whole lot easier. Okay. It just so happens that I have a bag of beans right here. I was planning to use them to make some porridge, but I think you will Ew. find a better use for them. Bean porridge? Of course. I will charge the Adventurers Guild a fair and reasonable rate for the beans. Of course you will. But also, thanks. You know what? Honestly, she's got to make that bag, though, right? All right, let's go find Ito. All right, so we have to go over here, chat. Let's go do it. Teleport waypoint. Somewhere All right. I found his tracks. There's very Let's small feet. Our target has very small feet. There's a camp here, but nothing stands out as particularly noteworthy. Let's investigate. Let's keep moving forward. Okay, never mind. Let's not investigate. see here perfect continue the pursuit there are more footprints here. he went right be just up ahead. small feet but very tall i mean that's what, you know what they say about small feet very tall people wait could that be <gasps> we found him he's just standing in a field for some reason seem to be looking this way perfect Let's try the beans. Oh my god, are we about to throw the some beans at him? True. Oh my god, hold on. Hold on, hold on, chat. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Hold E. Oh. Oh wait, hold on. Okay. Wait, dude, imagine being able to crouch in this game. Crouch option when? Uh. Uh. Wait, you actually get to throw beans at him? Did I not hit him? How about that? Ha -ha, take that! Someone get an EpiPen! Oh my god, I made him cry. Oh dear god. Uh, are you okay? This is the best quest so far. You actually get to throw beans at a character. What do we do? Hyman didn't think he'd react this badly. Uh, d d don't, don't be alarmed. It's just my, uh, uh, my allergies acting up. I've got it under control. Oh my god. I, all I hear is Ryuji. I'm sorry. Oh, I love this so far. It's all right. I got this. I just, 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 just gotta tough it out. I, just, I, I can take it. <laughs> the Edo no, dies. It. No. God's like, yeah, we killed him on accident. We threw beans at him. He's deathly allergic. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I gotta catch my breath here. Whatever it is you oh, God, want. I love his voice. It's gonna have to wait. I need a moment. This is horrible, actually. Resting a long well. Okay. Are you recovered now? You better. You good? Need a moment. I love Ooh, this. That's that's better. That sure took a lot out of me though. <laughs> hey, oh you my have to God. be so mean, huh? Surprise attacking me like that. I don't know. I, I can't take my chances. You can never be too careful when dealing with a fugitive. Oh, I get it. So you're here to bring me in. How in the world did you find me all the way out here? Footprints. <laughs> Whatever. If you think I'm going back with you, you can forget it. I'd walk away if I were you. I have more beans, Ito. I pack a mean punch, you know. I don't want to hurt any regular folks like you. That's pretty big. I love fun their faces. All the beans we have. <laughs> You're the one behind the robbery and the missing people, aren't you? Yep, that's right. Me, all by myself. Nobody else. He's covering. As boss of the Arataki gang, I gotta nab a little food and drink when we're running low. That's only natural, right? Ito seems a little sus right now. I'm not gonna lie. He seems a little sus. He's covering for someone. Yeah, but nabbing people? That's taking it a bit far, don't you think? Uh, not when their families will pay good mora to see him again. Easy pickings. <laughs> I love him, dude. And the extra mora means I can, uh... Uh, give some to my gang to spend on themselves. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this. 
and let me know in the comments down below if you think the same thing but i love all the voice actors every single one even paimon in this game i am now at the point where ito in my opinion has the best voice actor because i love max middleton middleman how do you say his name i'm sorry max but ito's voice is the best for me so far i absolutely love ito's voice actor at least you're honest hey what's with all the questions like i said i'm not going back with you so stop wasting everybody's time why do they give him like such ripped abs but then noodly arms no way mister we've accepted a commission to bring you back what did you say little one oh, go on say it to my face <laughs> Not the not the zoom in, dude. Uh, well, well, mostly he took a commission to bring you back. I want you to say that to my face. Oh my god, dude, I love this. Looks like you aren't gonna let this drop. In that case, we, Uncle Ito. Uncle Ito. Careful, or you'll fall. Granny Oni. Uh oh. What's taking you so long? You said we were gonna have a beetle fight today. Come on, you promised. He's a family man. He's a family man. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Still going ahead. But but you see, uh, I've been out here for ages, and I still can't find a beetle that I like. So, just give Uncle Ito a little more time, okay? He's a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. Huh? Who are they? Are they your friends? Uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I told God. them not to come, but what can I say? They were just too worried about me. <laughs> this is so freaking cute. I love him. I'm freaking out right now. He is so cute. He's a sweetie pie. I love it so much. He tries to be tough. If he can't, he just can't. It's because of a little thing called uh, prestige. Yeah, because of all the prestige Uncle Ito has. Oh. Oh, the prestige that's what we're calling it now got you what are you talking about Come on, just play along leave the kid out of this uh uncle ito you don't look so good you look like you're about to fall over <laughs> that's because uncle ito bumped his noggin on ito. a tree branch while looking for a beetle uh oh <laughs> it's all good though these horns are rock solid oh dude okay i'm sorry that i have to stop at every voice line but just his delivery is legit perfect dude uncle ito bumped his noggin on a tree uh oh dude i freaking love it so much dude okay if you say so granny and i will keep heading back now don't be too long uh, yep i'll be right there hope you're ready to lose today who were those people his family, obviously, Paimon. Come on. The old lady was Granny Oni. She's the one who took me in and raised me. <gasps> and the kid's name is Daisuke. I, I took him in just a while back. They're both like family to me. If you ever do anything to both of them, I will kill you. They escaped with me out this way, along with my boys from the Arataki gang. If I didn't bring them with me, the uh -huh. Tenryo Commission would be knocking on their doors for sure. I had no idea you were so caring towards others. Right. But if you care about them so much, then you shouldn't have done all that made them worry about you in the first place i uh, uh listen how about we make a deal you two let me go wrap things up with daisuke and once we're done uh -huh. battling beetles the two of us will settle things with a duel a duel okay if you win i'll come quietly you can take me back to inazuma city and you won't hear a peep out of me why because i'm an oni of my word okay i'll just tell little daisuke that my friends and i need to step outside for a moment that way you won't worry cool hmm. all right there is the kid to consider. All right, you got a deal. Oh, it's on. I like your style. <laughs> <sighs> I miss Persona right, 5, but dude. First things first. I need to find an Oni Kabuto to battle with. I've been looking here for ages and haven't found myself a winner yet, so it's time to try somewhere else. Okay. Come with me. Saves you worrying that I might skedaddle. I'll go wherever you want me to go, Ito. Where are we going? All right. Uh, go to the Oni Kabatu capture spot. Bet. Let's go do it. By the way, Paimon's curious. What kind of game is beetle fighting? You guys have seen Oni Kabuto out in the wild, right? Even though they have might I? look menacing on the outside, they're big softies on the inside. Him. Most of the time, they're just sitting there doing nothing. 
Edo, that's you. You're talking about yourself. Let me tell ya. Once the Oni Kabuto start fighting, ho ho ho, they won't let anything get in their way. That's Edo to a T. Love it. Grand game of beetle fighting is a match where your beetle tries to flip the other beetle onto its back. Oh, okay. I watched you go play that. It's not just some kid's game, okay? There's way more to it than that. Okay. I have taken part in more beetle fights than you would believe. At least 800. I may have even crossed the thousand mark by this point. Anyway, after a while, you can tell a beetle's fighting potential just by looking at its shape, size, and the patterns on its body. But it's not okay. just about all the physical stuff. Oh, no, your Oni Kabuto's got to be in the right head space as well. If it's not up for a fight or doesn't have the guts, well, then it's game over. Is this real? Like, I know there's like a game in Japan where like you you have like a card and you're supposed to like throw it on the ground. I don't know what it's called. And you're supposed to flip the 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 other person's card. Can do they do this with beetles? <laughs> Boy, are you too lucky you ran into me. When it comes to beetles, I'm the expert that the experts go to. I'll show you all you need to know. Okay. All right. But we're not the ones that will be playing. We're just here to keep an eye on you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anyway, we'll not a problem. You two might think I'm just tooting my own horns here, but just you wait. I'll make you a beetle expert in no time. All right. By the way, that kid has one tough beetle. We can't <laughs> underestimate so weird. it. You have to find a real lean, mean beetle warrior. Okay. Okay, so he's not the sharpest horn on the Oni. <laughs> okay, let me see. I love this, dude. Ah, there. Let's head to that hill. I'll okay. bet my bottom mora we're gonna find some major league Oni Kabuto hiding out there. But let's do it. Uh oh, lightning storm. It's okay. We're we're good. We're good. Uh, just our luck. Oh, darn it! They're all gone. Leap. Let's hop down from here uh. and take. <gasps> Look, you see all those purple things? Yeah. It's a whole pile of Oni Kabuto. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking. Huh? Oh. Give me. Oh, They're no, lavender melons. Lavender melons. Okay. Uh, uh. <clears throat> well, even a pro like myself can make a mistake from time to time. It's okay. Just capture an Oni Baka Let's two. Try somewhere else. A beetle. Okay, just a beetle. Got you. This is the one. This is the one. <laughs> See? As long as you're in my company, you're guaranteed to find yourself an Oni Kabuto. It seems a bit different from the others. Yeah, it's on the smaller side. But, uh, Small? That thing is as big as your head. Uh, but you said earlier that size matters. Just let the expert explain, okay? What smaller All right, go beetles ahead. lack in strength, they make up for in agility. They usually got a whole bunch of sick moves just ready to whip out when the right moment comes. Sure, but it doesn't seem to be very energetic either. Listen, you can never see a beetle's true energy until it's in the ring. But you said earlier that you could. It might look a bit young and docile, but that's got its advantages. Haven't you ever heard the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Okay. Young beetles that have never fought before always go all out in their first fight. <laughs> Older beetles that have already been through the wars tend to just cower in the corner the moment they see a strong opponent. I was hoping we'd catch a larger beetle. Hey, didn't I say not to worry? Come on, just have a little faith, would ya? My experience is telling me that this Oni Kabuto was spawned to be a champion. Wait, where's Paimon? Right here! Look what Paimon found! If we're gonna battle some beetles, then Paimon wants in! Oh my now, god, Paimon's a gambling beetles. addict. When you hop down, Paimon flew off somewhere else nearby and found this one. What the hell is happening right now? I'm loving this so far. Like... It's slowly becoming one of the best uh, story quests I've done so what far, Sarah. Think, Ito? It's big <laughs> His face, and strong, dude. It looks like a real fighter. It matches everything you said about a good fighter beetle. But the one you guys found must be way, way. <laughs> it kind of sucks. Dude, compared, oh, yeah, that thing is humongous. Oh, uh, <laughs> you got some experience catching beetles too, huh? Nope. This is the first one Paimon's ever caught. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. Don't make him feel bad. Well, looks like you got a real knack for this. You'll be a fellow beetle fighting expert in no time. I mean, not as good as me, but, <laughs> but still. Sure, sure, of course, of course. Oh, so overall, not that good then. Uh, anyway. Oh my god, Paimon. With both your beetle and mine, I can tell this will finally be the one. 
This time, I'm gonna win for sure. This will finally be the one? You've never won before? Well... Excuse me? <clears throat> you know, that's that's just life, man. There are so many people in this world who are talented, uh, passionate, but it's no guarantee that things will go their way. You know what? At least Ito is honest. So many unrelated things have to come together at once in just the right way to make victory happen. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this word that really sums it up nicely, actually. It's a uh, coincidence. 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 As in pure luck? Huh. Guess it makes no difference whether we have Paimon's beetle or not, then. Might as well just. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's use yours, though. <laughs> let's. Let's not do anything rash here. You know? I thought smaller beetles know a bunch of sick moves, though. Hello? Uh, I think both of these fine beetles have a shot at winning. Let's just hang <laughs> on to them and give them both a try. Got you. A true okay. warrior never leaves a good beetle behind. <laughs> anyway, uh, time oh to head God. back and get this No show beetle left behind, Man, chat. I am psyched for this. Woo! Let's go. Over here. I see them. Let's go battle beetles. Do you actually get the, like, is like a turn-based thing? Finally, this is a cutscene. You're back. Can we start our beetle fight now? Yes, let's do it. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. But you better watch out. I brought a real winner back this time. Don't worry. I'm not scared of your beetle. Go, ghost. Stripey yeah. ghost. I've it's got like this Pokemon, dude. Bag. Let's go, nimble ninja. Nimble ninja? I love it. I wish you could actually, like, control it. That'd be kind of really cool. Come on, Nimble you can Ninja. Take little guy. The little squeaks are so cute, dude. <laughs> That's right. Finish it. Dude, I hate bugs in real life, but why are the beetles cute in this game? That one's big, dude. <laughs> this is so stupid, but I love it. Shake your butts. Uh -huh. You don't oh, lost. No, my little nimble ninja. No, and he's dead now. Ha! Looks like I win again. That other beetle was too big, Dang dude. It. It's my seventh loss in a row. Oh, well, that's a pretty poor track record, you know. <laughs> Stripey Ghost is invincible. Even mm -mm. Uncle Ito can't beat him. No. Look at our beetle. I won't forget this. I'll beat you next time. I swear. We can get him with our beetle. All right, Paimon, you're up. Time to give Crimson Cyclone a shot. Crimson Maybe Cyclone? This losing streak of mine. I like that All name. Right. Go get him, Crimson Cyclone! Dude, that thing is huge. Whoa. That Even one bigger, looks ultra dude. Strong. But yeah, he's a legendary beetle. He's still no match for you, Stripey. <laughs> All right, little guy. Use your super pilot tornado! This is Pokemon, dude. Let's go! Paimon one for one, baby. I lost. Yay! We won! Ha! Paimon new Crimson Cyclone would be the best! They should totally add this as a mini game. I would totally play this as a mini game within Genshin. Boy, did that one put up a fight! Woo! It wiped the floor with Stripey Ghost! Okay. <laughs> Dude, that thing's I know big. a real beetle trainer when I see one. Way to kick some beetle butt, partner. That, that beetle is as big as like a beagle or like a a small Yorkie. I don't know. <laughs> See, Paimon's got real talent. Of course, Crimson Cyclone has to take some of the credit too. Well, of course, he did all the work, right? Yo, when can we, a <laughs> small Yorkie, uh, when can we have a beetle like this as a pet in um, our teapot? Oh, right. That'd be cool. All right. Mm -hmm. This is for you, Daisuke. Huh? For me? You're really giving it to me? Yeah, you Go deserve ahead. it. Take it, Daisuke. When we finally get back to the city, you can show it off to all your friends. But will we ever be able to go back? Of course we will. Oh, not such a sad me, dude. I never go back on my word. Anyway, I got some things I got to discuss with my friends here. I'll go play with Granny for a while, would ya? <laughs> There's a good boy. Good. The kid doesn't suspect a thing. No, I feel bad now. We can't take him away from his family. You're from the Tinrio Commission, aren't you? Oh God, he's on to us. I bet you're here to capture Uncle Ito. He's on to us, Chad. Oh no. Huh? 
Hey, didn't I tell you? They're my friends. Yeah. Uh, in fact, they're they're in the gang. <laughs> We're practically family. Exactly. Yeah. That's not true. Oh God, he's I too smart. I already know everyone in your little gang, but I've never seen these two before. We're new recruits, Dice K. Stop asking questions. Uncle Ito didn't do anything wrong. Don't take him away. And not only did he not do anything wrong, he also saved my life. He's not a bad guy. All right, let's see what the story is. Hey, uh, some things we don't tell to outsiders, remember? Uh, how should I explain? I'm a real lousy liar. Yeah, of course, we know. <laughs> Ito, sometimes you need to just say what you have to say. Uh, don't worry about us. Exactly, Granny Oni here with the wisdom. <sighs> I guess. Thanks, Granny. Seems I can't hide it anymore. Come with me. I'll explain everything. I'll be honest with you. Okay. This thing the Tenryo Commission is investigating, with someone going around taking people and their possessions, it wasn't me. Any of it. Huh. I have my own reasons for lying about it. And I really didn't want to get innocent people caught up in this while I'm still trying to solve the real problem here. Mm -hmm. I'm the same as you. I just want to avoid conflict at all costs. It's just not worth it if someone gets hurt. So why hmm. in the world would you say that you were the culprit? That's my question. <sighs> Maybe you don't know because you're outlanders, but it all started a long, long time ago with the story of the Crimson Oni and the Blue Oni. We know that story. Hold on a second. If you're talking about that fairy tale, we've heard that one already. Oh, so you already know. Well, that makes things a whole lot easier. Mm-hmm. Really true? Everything about the fate of the Oni is true. The blue Oni chose exile, mm -hmm. and the crimson Oni stayed behind. But the other details aren't historically accurate. Of course. Fairy tales are nice stories, but there's something they leave out. It's a little thing called the cold hard truth. Wait, okay. The Inazuma of long ago was a dangerous place. If you wanted the Raiden Shogun's protection, you had to have a good relationship with the humans. Sure. The Oni are a proud kind, so it wasn't easy for them to ask others for acceptance. Over time, the Oni eventually split into two factions. Red and blue. The Crimson Oni were friendly with the humans, but the blue Oni? They were more stubborn and mm -hmm. insisted on keeping to their own. Paimon thought you were two different species. So really, you're all one family? Yes, just Oni, Paimon. What, what do we not get with this? Yep, that's right. There's no real difference between us. We just paint our horns different colors to show which side we belong to. Wait, is he a blue Oni? Wait, are you actually a blue Oni? So why did the blue Oni choose to exile themselves? Because humans were still wary of Oni at the time. The Crimson Oni always hoped to find a way to live in peace with the humans, but the blue Oni kept clashing with them. Humans didn't see a huh. difference between Crimson and blue Oni. All they knew was that Oni were hard to get along with. Mm -hmm. If things were to continue that way, the Oni were never going to get along with humans. And so, the most revered leaders of the Crimson and Blue Oni decided to resolve it once and for all. Huh. Over drinks, they swore an oath. The Blue Oni would play the role of evil Oni mm -hmm. to help the Crimson Oni integrate into human society. But the Blue Oni's leader gave two conditions. Okay. First, the Oni must abandon any prejudice they held against humanity. Every Oni was to accept humans in their heart before the humans accepted them. Oni were not to use their strength to mistreat humans, but were also not to stand for mistreatment against themselves. Okay, so that's that's the first condition. Second, the Crimson Oni were to integrate with human society, but not by trying to please the humans. The Oni were to embrace their own honest characters, their surging tempers, and their awesome strength to win respect from the humans. Interesting. Okay. In other words, they were to carry on the Oni bloodline while also protecting our Oni pride. Okay, I see. After choosing exile, the number of blue Oni began to dwindle until eventually... They disappeared altogether. Why not just paint your horns, right? No one would ever suspect a thing, right? Since I first heard the story of the blue and crimson oni as a kid, oh, I've heard it countless times in my life. Not once did I ever imagine that the blue oni clan had actually survived. 
Wait, so that the blue Oni clan actually survived. So they're still alive. You're saying the real culprit was a descendant of the blue Oni? Uh -huh. That's right. Most people don't pay attention to the color of an Oni's horns. They probably don't even know that blue Oni exists. But nothing gets by the Arataki gang. At the scene of the crime, they saw an Oni with different color horns than mine. Wait, are we going to be able to see another Oni? Still, okay. it would be strange if the culprit Future really five was star, a descendant maybe? of the blue Oni. I can't bring myself to accept it. Because the blue Oni also value their own pride. Exactly. They would give up their life before abandoning their pride. Interesting. I've always respected the blue Oni for the sacrifice they made. And I know the aspirations my ancestors had for the future of all Oni. Our pride does not allow for any wrongdoing. You don't steal from other people. You don't mm -hmm. harm other people, period. My guess is that the blue Oni was tricked or forced into it somehow. But uh, I don't have any evidence. So he's conducting his own investigation into this. I see. Okay. So you're trying to buy more time. That's right. If I didn't step in, the Tenryo Commission would have definitely caught them by now. But what does Gensuke okay. have to do with any of this? He said that you saved him so he knows your story, right? He was mm -hmm. the one I managed to save from the Ronin after I sent them running from the scene. He was off playing somewhere when they came by and ransacked his house. By the time he came back, his parents had been taken. Oh, okay. The whole reason I'm in this is to help this kid find his mom and dad again. Ito is a sweetheart. Why didn't you just tell them that in the first place? I never wanted to tell you any of this. <laughs> my original plan was to knock you both out and take my family to hide somewhere else. But we had beans on There's our side. There's more to this than just one blue Oni. There's a dangerous group behind everything that's been going on. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to get anyone else caught up in this mess. That's everything. The whole story. If you don't believe me and want to drag me back to Inazuma City, then I'm going to fight you with all I've got. But See. if you're willing to believe me, then please give me a little time. Once I find the Blue Oni, I'll turn the both of us in. You know what, Ido? You've convinced me. I will help you. Yep, Paimon too. The real culprits must be brought to justice. Yes, treat it like we're here to keep an eye on you. So you... <laughs> uh, we believe right. you, Ido. Oh, You'd be reasonable. I, I knew it. I was thinking right from the start. These two fine folks, they're just out here in the pursuit of truth and justice, man. <laughs> he didn't think we that at all. Get along just great. See, I don't trust Ito completely because he goes back and forth on stuff, but I think he has a kind heart, is what it is. Well, I should tell you, though, things could get a little dangerous, so uh, be ready for anything. <laughs> uh, don't say that I didn't warn you. I got you by my side. <laughs> worry about us we're seasoned adventurers all right then our first job is to investigate where this blue oni is hiding out there's a victim of his that saw him up close currently taking refuge at sanganomiya's camp i figure we can start by talking to him okay let's go talk to him then let's go see yo you must be masato uh, an oni oh no not another one we're good though we're good we're good. Oh, uh, yeah. Not the one that robbed you, though. So, uh, <laughs> chill. I contacted you before, remember? I need your help. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. I'm still a bit on edge after the incident. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so anyway, here's what happened. I was just out transporting some goods when a group of Ronin suddenly attacked me. Okay. It's not the first time that's happened to me. Usually, you just hand over some Mora and they'll leave you alone. At least you don't lose your goods that way. But this time was mm -hmm. different. They weren't willing to talk things over. Instead, they took my things and they started coming for me. I wonder if... This is my other theory. What if there's a group out there that is pretending to be the Oni? Like they just have fake horns or something. They're pretending to be Oni to make people distrust actual Oni. Thoughts? Maybe? I don't know. I got down on my knees and begged. Said I had a family to care for and that my business is our only livelihood. And they took then I everything. saw that there was an Oni among the group. I thought he was going to be the one to finish me off. But instead, he stopped the others and told them to let me go. So there was friction within the group. Yeah, that got them all arguing with each other. His cohort said that I was sure to retaliate if they released me. Uh -huh. But the young Oni was insistent that they shouldn't lay a finger on me. Things got real heated. I thought they were gonna come to blows. 
Who's this other Oni? Luckily, they let me escape with my life in the end. And I scrambled to get myself here where I'd be safe. <sighs> I never want to set foot outside of here again. Yeah, that shit's scary. Steal, but he won't harm people. <laughs> Seems he has some sort of standards. Did he say why they were robbing you? Surely it was Mora, right? That's what more else could they have wanted with me? I mean, I can't say for sure. It's not like I asked. But what I did hear them say was, the goods are worth more than the merchant's life. Or something like that. So there was no need to kill him. Got it. Ugh, that idiot Oni. Do you have any idea where they went after they robbed you? I have no clue. But I think they're pretty active in the Tatarasuna area. Got it. You aren't going to go after them, are you? Seriously, I'd advise against it. There are too many of them, and they're all heavily armed. Nah, we're good. We're good. I've got Eula. <laughs> ah, don't worry. It's just a bunch of no-name scumbags. I got a whole laundry list of scores to settle with them. Got These you. two islands are where they tend to hang around. We're sure to run into them at Nazuchi Beach sooner or later. Let's go do it, then. Let's go fight them. I'm ready to throw hands, chat. Lie in wait at Nazuchi Beach for the Ronin to show up. Bet. Let's go do it. All right, let's see. Let's go. Let's go wait for the Ronin to show up. Or Ronin. How are we going to say it? They got to pass through here sometime. Let's just hang tight for a while. Bet. If I'm not mistaken, they'll be showing up any time now. I wonder who they are. Yeah, things might get a little rough, so we better be prepared. I'm good. We're good. After you wait for a while, the suspicious people finally oh, here they come. come in. Yeah, there they are. And one of them has horns. All right, it's go time. Let's get him. Do it. Like the fight? <gasps> I have the fight as trial Edo. Let's go. Yo, what's up? Looks like uh. going down without a fight. Oh, he hits so Why hard. Let's fight first, talk later. Uh. Hey, I get to play as Ito. I'm fine with this, dude. Oh, I love him. Dude, 12,000 with that hit? Not gonna lie, he's pretty good. Oh, he's such a beautiful character, too. I love him. Dude, he hits hard. Who wants some of this? And the music going ham right now? Okay. Dude, that makes me excited to build uh Edo now. Hey, don't even think about running. It's me, Arataki Ito, descendant of the Crimson Oni. Okay, who is this guy? <laughs> I know who you are. From the day we are born, every blue oni knows their purpose. We all know our fate is one of self-sacrifice. But what about the crimson oni, hmm? You don't know anything about us. Not our miserable history, or any of our names. Mine's Takuya, by the way. But you don't even care, do you? Because those who get sacrificed should be forgotten, right? So he's an actual blue oni. Okay, my bad about that. No, you're wrong. I never knew the blue oni had survived to this day. And the moment I found out, I was determined that I would find you. Since you remember the pact between our two factions, I assume you also remember the pride we share as Oni. So my question is, how could a proud Oni like yourself go and abuse the weak and plunder the innocent? Why break the oath that our kind swore all those years ago? <laughs> huh? What's so funny? Who are you to talk about pride and oaths with me? I'm heavily invested right now. The Blue Oni gave up everything just so the Crimson Oni could live peacefully in human society. But let me ask you, Arataki Ito, what exactly do you contribute to human society? <laughs> this is called Ito useless, bro. You're a blundering fool who can't hold down a real job, a laughingstock of the town, and worse still, you let them get your vision during the Vision Hunt Decree. Protecting the Oni pride? Huh. You wouldn't know how if you tried. Takuya just put him on blast, dude. You're a disgrace to the Oni kind. Hey, come on. None of that stuff's a big deal. I, I mean, you're, you're really hanging me out to dry here, man. Since when do you care what other people think? 
You just do whatever you want. It's not like anyone can stop you. But do you have any idea of the kind huh. of life my kin and I have lived while you've been hanging around in human society? Probably crappy. We were cut off from the rest of the world. We severed all contact with it. And since then, we've had no place to live. No stable source of food. Bro, I feel for you, but can we zoom in on these feet real quick? Those are some big feet, dude. My man's got flipper feet. I just wanted to point that out real quick. No clothing, no medicine, nothing. Besides the oath we swore to uphold in our so-called Oni pride, we had nothing. So that's why you joined a band of thieves? That's right. Why should I accept that life? Is holding fast to a worthless oath supposed to help me provide for my family and friends? I feel I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I feel for this guy. I feel for this guy, man, like being a for real, though. Why should he be exiled? I've abandoned our only pride. It's meaningless. I want to live. Why is this sad? The music too brings it all together. I've given everything that I've stolen from humans to my community. What I've taken will at least keep them from starving and ease their pain. That's what matters most to me. You don't need to go to such extremes, though. Yeah! And besides, the Blue Oni sacrificed themselves so that Oni could be accepted as part of human society. Yeah, but so many generations now, down, you get born into that. And that's kind of, like, unfair at that point to, like, his generation of Oni. He wants to live. He doesn't. He wasn't. He didn't ask to be born first and foremost. Secondly, he didn't ask to be born into that to be exiled. Oh man, I feel for the blue oni now. If people see oni causing trouble again, then that'll defeat the whole purpose of the sacrifice you made. Honestly, I think it's time to shake things up a little bit. The blue oni don't deserve this anymore. <laughs> you make a good point. But Arataki Ito's the one who needs to get that into his thick skull. The Blue Oni are the bad guys, so we're expected to do bad things. Our mm -hmm. actions won't tarnish the reputation of the Crimson Oni. True. Unless, of course, this bonehead decides it'd be a great idea to take all the blame for himself, completely destroying the trust between humans and the Crimson Oni in the process. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that, for real. Yeah, you can't take the blame, dude. He's the one that wasted the sacrifice we made. Huh? Well, I only had to do that because of you. I couldn't just stand back and let the Tenryo Commission drag you away. You should get your priorities straight. Oh my god, so much is happening in this story. The Blue Oni are history, all right? Forget about us. The Crimson Oni are the ones who must live on. Why couldn't you have just stayed out of this? There they are. Seize them. Oh, God. No, oh, not no. this. It's the Tenryo Commission. <sighs> Forget it. This was a waste of time anyway. Look, I don't expect you to understand me, but you could at least take a look in the mirror sometime. Hey. That's a wake-up hey. call. Oh, God. We're surrounded. Hey, Great. Uh-oh. We need to get out of here, too. It's too late. <sighs> we can't get caught here. Looks like I'm up to bat. Just wait here, and we'll escape together when the time's right. Bet. Whatever you do, don't attack any of the Tenryo Commission, or they'll be after you too. Okay. Who goes there? Defeat? Okay, defeat him. Let's go. Oh, they got his weapon on him? Oh, that's why he's hitting so hard. I can't, guys. I can't. I just got Broken Pines for... Um, for Eula, I cannot try to go for his weapon right now. I can't, dude. Even though I do want it, I don't know if I can do it or not. There we go. That is actually kind of insane, though. I'll catch up on Chet in one second. 22k with that hit? Let's go. He's so much fun to play. Bro, I'm liking him so far. Just get lucky. <laughs> yeah, just get lucky, right? Man, 
They really came out in force today. I'm kind of flattered the Tenryo Commission sent so many. But I still haven't completely recovered from the bean attack earlier. I'm starting to lose my edge here. My bad. Uh, why don't you just let us explain the situation to them? No, no way. All that would do is send them after our blue oni friend instead. Mm. But I have to settle things with them first, man to man. Okay. So what should we do? The Tenryo Commission's about to arrest you! Uh, no choice but to keep kicking some Tenryo butt! Hey, boss! More fighting? Oh, Bet! Have fun without us? Granny Oni sent us. We're here to lend a hand. Maybe we can't take him. The but game's we can all sure here, slow baby. Him down. Now's your chance. Go. Hey, I told you to stay out of this one. Well, we're in it now. Come on, there's true no time. friends. Those are true friends Go. right there. Do what you gotta do, boss. <laughs> they would all die right. for you, Ito. Watch yourselves. As soon as I'm done, I'm coming back for you. Come on, you two. Time to roll. He needs to say one line for Persona 5. I would die for away. that. After them. Hey, you guys want some of this? There's plenty to go around. Uh-oh. Run for it, boss! <laughs> oh my god, please. Do we have to just run? You managed to escape with the help of Arataki's gang. Let's go. As boss of the Arataki gang. Alright, we gotta follow the footprints to chase feels... Takuya. Bet. <laughs> Pretty humiliating. All the footprints to chase uh Takuya, bet. Where did he go? Found him right there. Are these his footprints? Huh. Wait, is it just me or are there more and more foot oh, a wrecked cart and some goods? Hello? Oh, you guys don't want the smoke. Company. You guys really don't want the smoke. Okay, fine. You guys want the smoke. Light out. Shine down. Blood of frost. Do that. They definitely don't want Easy. us going any further. Let's see what's waiting for us up ahead. Let's go see. Hello? Huh. Besides the footprints, there are other signs of life here too. There must be plenty going on around here. Let's go see. Let's investigate. They couldn't have just disappeared into thin air. <laughs> Hidden entrance. Uh, yes. Unless they're all, all right. ninjas or something. We just found their hideout. This is gonna be where they keep all the people they took. Okay. Heaven thinks Takia's probably in there as well. I also think though that there is another side to Takia's story. You know, like he's actually not bad. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's do it. Before we go in, I have a question. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, fire away. Did you really understand where Takia was coming from? <laughs> of course I did. Come on, I'm not that dumb. But it takes a world-class blockhead like Takia to think his ideas are actually gonna work. So mm -hmm. I'm here to save him no matter what. All right. Well, that's good to hear. Huh? What are you two talking about? Are you keeping Paimon in the dark again? The less you know, the better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go. I love his voice so much, dude. Best voice in this game. All right. Teleport waypoint unlocked. Hide out. Got the music playing. Let's go. What's up, everybody? <laughs> By that. Less than legitimate means, no doubt. And all the more reason we gotta put an end to this. I just want to play as Ido forever. I don't want anybody else, honestly. I love his animations too, by the way. The way he like kicks his sword up and the noise it makes. I freaking love that, dude. Look at little Ushi. Jamming out? I love him so much, dude. Okay, let's go up here. This is like a palace in Persona 5. Dude, this hideout is way bigger in the inside. No problemo. That'll be what this mechanism is for. Look at that. And ruin. Eat it. Fairy. Get wrecked. Let's do this. Oh, I'm actually doing the most as an Edo, to be honest. Honestly, I think... I think he's really trying and I love it. Ooh, uh, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention, chat. Connor, welcome in. How are you? Hello there. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Do that. You didn't see that. No. Hello? You guys didn't see that. All right, mechanism. 
Perfect. Is that a shortcut, maybe? Where are we going? Hello? Hold on. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Well, I can go here. Maybe go over here. We're going the right way. We got this. Let's do it. Who wants to smoke? Where did my ultimate go? Did I already use it? <gasps> it wait, where did my ultimate go? Oh, that's bad. Anyway. Shine down. Eye for an eye. boy. Get him, baby. Let's go, Edo. Let's go, Edo. I love him so much. You can't run. Allow me. And the music playing in the background. Let's go. You love to hear it. All right, grab this. Nice. Going the right way. There's probably something behind here, maybe. Wait, hold on. Let me pull this lever real quick. Pull. Aha! We did a chat. Open that door. Dude, imagine if we got dungeons like this, but like a little bit more intricate for end game content in Genshin. That would be really sick. Like puzzles and like secret ways and entryways. That would be so cool. Also, this chest is broken. Great. Uh, Yosh is not a, Yoshi's not a dinosaur. Welcome in. How are you? Hello there. How's your day going? I'm just trying to take inspiration from you and others. Uh, nice combat, by the way. I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm just glad that you're here. Okay, I guess we can't go this way yet. All right, whatever. Get out of here. If you haven't already, you need to listen to Ida's birthday line. I don't think I have listened to it yet. It's not a broken chest. It wasn't broken. Go for it again. Wait, it's not broken? Hold on, let's go see it. Music in the background, dude. I love it. Are you sure it's not broken? Watch. You're right. I'm sorry. Anyway. Never mind. Anyway, continue on. <laughs> okay. Don't look at me. I don't know what I would do without you, chat. I'm going to be honest with you. Before I go this way, what's behind here? Another chest? Perfect. Can't catch me. Hello, there's traps in here? Okay. What's up, bro? Take my Ushi. That sounds wrong when I say it. Must be holding on to them for leverage. Alright, let's get him out of here. Do that. Who wants some of this? Nice. 22,000, baby? Dude, Ito hits hard. You free everyone inside. It's okay. This game is tough sometimes. All right. You're all free to go now. Quick, get to safety. Sorry, but have you seen our little boy? We're awfully worried about him. It's his parents. Little boy's parents. Calm down, dear. We don't even know if he was taken here or not. Oh, the little kid's name that you just said. You must be his parents. Paimon stating the obvious. Yes, that's right. Have you seen him? Where is he? Is he all right? He's dead. I'm sorry. Joking. He's alive. Don't worry. He's safe and sound. Someone's looking after him now on Yashiori Island. I can show you where on the map. He's been worried about you. I bet he'll be relieved to see you. You were the one who saved him? Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Not us. Not us. Oni over there. <laughs> no, no, please, no. No need to thank me. It's it's my pleasure, really. It's just who I am. It's what I do. Uh, before you go calling me a hero, let me ask you this. Wouldn't I love another self-respecting guy who <sighs> saw another abs. person in danger have done the exact same thing? Look at those abs and those obliques, dude. He might have the most perfect torso in this game. Really? Just one little compliment and it goes straight to his head. Why do they see so many people? <sighs> These vagrants are insatiable. They'll do anything for money. No one dares stand up to them for fear of what they might do. Well, mm -hmm. Would they really do anything drastic? 
Um, I don't think so. No, actually, because one of the guys, the, the one with Oni horns on his head, has always shielded us so far. Mm -hmm. oh, in fact, his horns look just like the ones this guy has. This guy? He has a name. At night, he would secretly bring us food and water. I don't understand what he was trying to do. Interesting. Are you a friend of his? Or perhaps a relative? Uh, relative, I guess. Oh, maybe there's something secretly troubling Interesting. Him. He seemed different from the rest of the gang. They seem like heartless crooks, but I'd say he comes across more like a confused child who made some poor choices. Uh, let me put it this way. There are a few things he needs to straighten out in his head, and I'm here to point him in the right direction. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. He's lucky to have family like you. <laughs> Don't worry. He'll be in my trusty hands. I'll help him see the light. I like his nails. I love Ido's nails, dude. Anyway, you should scram. It's still not safe here. Yes, thanks again. You've rescued our entire family. We are indebted to you. Oh, you're good. You're good. Whoa, okay. Huh. Child that made some poor choices. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, let's get going. While we still have time. Let's get out. Oh, there's another chest over here. I'm I'm on the edge of my seat, guys. I just want to see like the end of the uh the quest. I want to see like what happens. Oh, sick. Wait, how am I supposed to get up there? Am I missing something? Hold on, watch this. Poop. I'm in platform now? Like here? Mm, you guys are so smart. You guys are so smart. I am not the one who Okay. That's what it was, chat. We got it. You guys got it. All right, chat. We're on our way. I'll edit that part out. Door of resurrection activated. This is the place. The jig's up. Spread I got to fight all these guys? Can. All right. Who wants to smoke? Vengeance will be mine. I condemn you. Let's do this. Light blade. Ooh, buddy. boy. Get wrecked, dude. Can't catch me. Come here. You missed. Oh, he's the leader. Got it. Nice. Nice. Rack and ruin. Now you shall perish. Easy. Easy peasy, baby. Yes. Did I not win? So naive. This is my home turf. I'll let you in on a little secret. Who is this guy? A long time ago, I picked up this rare paper charm. It's very precious to me. What makes it so special is that if you tear one piece, the other piece starts tearing too. Uh, -huh. uh newsflash, don't care about your cute little origami obsession. You better stay where you are and let me finish. Aren't you curious what the other piece is used for? I guess. I'll tell you. It's now the critical component of a mechanism. And when it gets torn, this place goes up in smoke. Yeah, the whole hideout is rigged with explosives and ready to blow. Excuse me? Also, Hoot, I realized that. I was like, that doesn't match the caption. What? You're going to blow this whole place up? But you'll get yourself killed, too. Oh, don't worry about me. I made sure that I've got an escape route. The rest of you, though, you're going to be buried deep among the rubble. Mm. You've had your fun. Now it's goodbye. <laughs> my paper charm. Where's my paper charm? Oh, I'm sorry. Are Let's go. Let's go, baby. Double double agent. Yes, that's it. But when did you? I snatched it earlier to stop you from doing anything hasty. Why you? Let's go, baby. You betray me. You're one to talk. What about burying everyone here? If you ask me, that sounds like you've already betrayed our agreement, no? I believe so. <sighs> Just give it here. You done talking now? Huh? You sure? Great. Because I'm done listening. Yeah. Knocked him out. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Edo. 
Great work, Takuya. You arrived in the nick of time. Uh huh? I said stay away, or I'll tear the paper charm. I was joking. Hey, oh, okay, okay, uh, fine. Just calm down. What are you doing? Just because I won't let him blow this place to bits doesn't mean that I won't do it myself. Unless you want to get buried, you should leave this place now. Take everyone here and get out! <laughs> you won't go through with it. If you were that cruel, then why bother protecting every person you've come across? Huh? I'm not here to reason with you. Go! Just get out of here! This sacrifice is mine to make. Mine alone! Why couldn't you just stay out of it? No one needs to sacrifice themselves. All right, then you tell me. What am I supposed to do? I've tarnished our Oni pride and abandoned our ancestors' oath. Only sacrifice can restore my pride now. I chose this path so I could provide for my fellow Oni. I was ready to die from the very beginning. This is so sad, dude. This is between us blue Oni. But you... If it wasn't for you, everything would have worked out perfectly. They're here. We won't let them slip away this time. No, we're having a moment. Get away. Uh-oh. There's nowhere else to run. Hey, Tenryo Commission. I'm the one you're looking for. I did it. I'm behind everything. Arataki Ito is innocent. You're the ones in charge of detaining criminals in human society, right? I'm sure you can tell who the criminal is here. Huh? It's like he's trying to reenact the no! For the Crimson Oni. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It's me you've been looking for. Oh, and here I am. No, I don't know. How are you going to report back without capturing me? <sighs> I'm torn, guys. Stop fooling around, Ito. Listen, Takuya. Sacrificing yourself won't solve anything. Your sacrifice can't protect me or your fellow Oni. And giving up your life isn't going to make theirs any longer. True. Sacrificing yourself is one way to escape your fate, but the only one you'll be setting free is yourself. Listen to me. You want to be the tough guy? Huh? Well, this is the coward's way out. Don't let your sacrifice stain our Oni pride. Then why do they keep pointing at each other? They've pointed so many times. <sighs> the blue Oni have been scraping the bottom of the barrel all these years. So let's give them a new beginning. That's what I'm saying. Ido wants the blue Oni to have a new beginning because it's just not fair to them. Ido is a man of culture. We love Ido here. We've made mistakes, but we can make up for them. Fate hasn't been kind to the Oni. Well, then let's tear it up and start over. Yes. But before any of that can happen, you need to get yourself behind me and forget about all that self-sacrifice stuff. Now let's go. But we're not done talking about this. Uh, Takuya! Whoa. Oh my god, no. Oh, they ripped it! I'll take care of this. There are still people in danger. The music go, sounds go, like Persona. I got this. Come on! This sounds like Persona 5, bro. Oh my god. Forget about me! Just go! It's what I deserve! Ah, oh, shut up, would ya? I what? Let's go! This cutscene's insane! <laughs> dude, that was so cool! That was like straight out of an anime, dude. <sighs> we managed to save everyone! But that was insanely cool, chat. That was so freaking cool. Let's wait a little longer. Oh my god, that was insane. They're both okay. Let's go. Dude, Ido's such a badass. Uh, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. 
Ugh. What's up with the looks on your faces? I said we'd be okay, didn't I? I'm sure I'd be looking a whole lot sharper right now if it wasn't for that brutal bean attack of yours earlier. I'm sorry it had to be done. Why? Why would you do this for me? I'm the guilty one here. I don't deserve this. Because we're Oni, that's why. We share the same blood, brother. Exactly. Our parents and their parents before them never taught us that it was okay to abandon family in need. I just wish you'd come to find me sooner. If you knew Your about family. me all along, then you should have come and asked me for help. I never would have dreamed of turning you away. The blue Oni disappeared so that they wouldn't bring trouble to the crimson Oni. If I came to you for help, wouldn't that just undo everything the blue Oni have done? Not to me. I've always respected the blue Oni for their sacrifice. Nothing they did was in vain. Exactly. It's only because of them that we have survived to see today and built a world where Oni and humans can live side by side. That's all because of the Blue Oni, dude. Honestly, everything that I have now, I owe to the Blue Oni. And let me tell you, the Inazuma of today wouldn't see you as a villain just because of the color of your horns. You say all that, but in spite of everything, you're barely getting by. <laughs> That's just how I roll, man. That's just his life. I mean, he likes to live like that. You remember the pack, don't you? We're not supposed to suck up to the humans. We're supposed to earn their respect. Exactly. Every member of the Arataki gangs had a tough time trying to fit in. Take Akira, for example. He snores like you wouldn't believe. Or Genta. He's got a serious temper problem. And Mamoru? Well, he's colorblind. No one's perfect, dude. Even Granny Oni. She got that name for taking me in as a kid. We're all rejects and outcasts in some way, but we don't care. You want to talk about pride? Well, in our gang, we're proud to welcome anyone who's been through adversity with open arms. <gasps> He's going to join uh, the Arataki gang? But... That'd be sick. I... Ah, don't worry. The Arataki gang's already a bunch of misfits. You really think you could cramp our style? Let's go. He's going to join their gang. We've dealt with the Kairagi and the people they took captive. I assume the two of you are finished talking. Takia, based on the findings of our investigation... I hereby announce that you are officially under arrest for forceful seizure of people and property. Please do not attempt to resist. All stolen articles will be reclaimed. That means we'll be seizing all the goods you passed on to your kin. No, please don't. Without those goods, they'll... It's all right, Takuya. Those goods never belong to us anyway. Don't worry. I'll help take care of your kin. Now that I know the situation, I'll personally make sure they never suffer again. Might want to put your grand plans on hold there. You're under arrest too for huh? numerous assaults on the Tenryo Commission officers. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I forgot about that. Oh, but no worries. I'll put my gang on the case. My boys will take good care of the blue owner. Jail cell buddies, dude, they're gonna get along just right. Yeah, we've already arrested them too. Oh my god, everyone's been arrested. Oh, right, yeah, uh. That's what they get for resisting the Terio Commission. Yeah, I guess it's up to you then, Traveler. Could you be a pal and tell Granny Oni about the Blue Oni situation? I got you. We'll tell her everything. We'll bust you out. I'll pay for your bail. I got the money. Thanks. And thanks for sticking with me to the end. Once I'm out of the slammer, I'll find a way to make it all up to you. As for you two, lending them your aid when you knew full you are well also were arrested involved, means that the culpability extends to you too. Bro, I fought the Raiden Shogun, okay? I don't like to pull rank here, but my Eula is triple crowned, and I could literally swing my sword once, and you would all die for four lifetimes. I don't think you want to arrest me, okay? But given your unique circumstances, nah, and in there light it is. of the complexity of this case, we won't press charges this time. Honestly, this is the American injustice system right here. <laughs> Honestly, this is bad. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. Hey, wait. W are unique circumstances. W are these guys like a, a, a big deal or something? The American justice system. Chat, right there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. We got special cool, treatment. Because cool. I was going to say, you know, like, I, I'm kind of a big deal myself. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, see you next time. Whenever that'll be. <laughs> Bye, Ito. Bye, Takuya, I think. The Beatles! Wait! I didn't notice the parallels! The parallels! The red beetle and the blue beetles! 
Wow. We gotta go tell Granny everything now. That does sound like my Ito. Yeah. So, did they take Uncle Ito away? Yes, they did. But don't be too upset, Daisuke. We will have the chance to see him again. He and his gang may have acted recklessly, but the fact remains that he still helped us. True, so he won't get life in prison. Just 50 yeah, years. I knew it! Uncle Ito helped us, and he's awesome! Now, don't get any ideas, Daisuke. Ito is a far cry from awesome. He still caused a lot of trouble for a lot of people. Dang, Granny Oni out here just be like, humble yourself. He's, he's not awesome. <laughs> if you ask me... I'd say he's like one of those little Oni Kabuto you kids are playing with all the time. Though he looks fierce on the outside, he has a kind heart. He's not a delinquent, but he'll twerking never back over here, down baby? from a fight. Mm, Beetle's twerking. Uh, I don't really get it, but it sounds like a compliment. I can't wait for my next Beetle fight with Uncle Ito. Thank you, Granny, for taking care of our little boy. I hope that Ito and his friends will be released as quickly as possible. They will be. Yes, you needn't worry. The officials in the Tenryo Commission will certainly exercise sound judgment. Yeah. It's time we started heading back. We'll be sure to visit again soon. Ah, I'm glad that everything was resolved in the end. Things were looking quite dire, but now the future looks bright. Wonderful. Wonderful. Next quest, jailbreak. Could you imagine we had to break them out of jail? As for the blue oni, just leave them to me. If there's one thing an old granny like myself can do, it's caring for others. Do you need our help? <laughs> no, we go. No, no. Go on ahead. I'm sure you have other adventures beckoning. Besides, once Ito is released, he'll be here to help me. Is oh, he always yes. like this? And you know what? I think that's what makes him adorable. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Ito is adorable. I would agree with he that. He does yeah. whatever he puts his mind to. He's sincere, brave, and determined. Back True. When I took him in, everyone thought I was most unusual indeed. They started calling me Granny Oni. But I've never been ashamed of this name. On the contrary, I'm quite proud of it let's go let's go granny okay because ito is my pride and joy oh a long long time ago in a village lost to time there lived a crimson oni and a blue oni they were the best of friends the crimson oni wanted to be friends with the humans so the blue oni played the role of the naughty kid and then he left After a long time, the Crimson Oni was living happily with the humans. But in his heart, he wanted to bring the Blue Oni back home. The Crimson Oni didn't know where to find the Blue Oni. His search took him up the highest mountains and across the widest rivers. This is the true fairy tale. He found many traces of the Blue Oni. But the more he found, the clearer it became. The blue oni was hiding on purpose. So just as the blue oni had once done, the crimson oni left him a letter. Dear Al, I've made lots of human friends now, and I want to have a big party for everyone. I want all my friends to be there. <laughs> that means you too, Al. If you don't want to meet me, you can just watch from a distance. The blue oni snuck back to the village and hid in the shadows. He saw the great feast and roaring fire and longed to join in. But though his stomach rumbled, the blue oni remembered the oath of old and kept his distance. <gasps> Suddenly, he jumped. The crimson oni was right behind him. <laughs> hey, you're finally back. I'm getting Come chills. On. I'll introduce you. It's time everyone met my best friend. Oh, I got chills, baby. Oh, no. 
And that's the quest. And that's the quest. I absolutely love that quest. I absolutely love it. Chat, what do you think about that quest? What's your rating out of 10? What is the rating of that quest? I'm going to give that a 10. A 10. I absolutely loved it. That was amazing. 10. Look, I love it. I love it. 11 out of 10. 10. I love it. That was great. 